Yeah, I think you'd be a good buyer's agent. Do you think? You dress well. Uh-huh. You're a people person. Yep. You're very flattering. Well, I do my best. The hair's immaculate. <laughs> and you've got a smile that could, you know, make ice melt. Are we about to go into business together? When can you start? <laughs> Hey, it's Matty J here. I'm outside the office of Simon from Lux Listing Sydney, and he doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna be his driver for today. And I thought it'd be fun if we just got to hang out and get to know each other just a little bit better. What are you doing here? Mate, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Hop in the car, we have a busy day planned. We need to get going. Uh, Come on. All right. Wow, what a man, huh? Now I understand. All right, so just, just to put your mind at ease, I'm a very good driver. I was not so worried at all. <laughs> you fit right in a double bang, mate, don't worry. I'm gonna throw some rapid fire questions at you. Go for it. Beach or mountains? Beach. Oh, tough. I like them both, but beach. Red or white wine? Red, for sure. I'm a big red fan. Movies or nightclub? Movies. I'd rather go for a nice dinner, have a good Shiraz, go for a drink at a good bar after. God, I actually sound fucking old. <laughs> nightclub, nightclub, yeah. nightclub. I'm a great dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so where did your, your journey into real estate begin? My journey began by everyone telling me I should be in real estate, pretty much. Why do you think everybody was saying, Simon, you need to be in real estate? I think two reasons. I think one, like I was very passionate about real estate. When I was little and I couldn't drive, on the weekends I used to get my dad to drive me around the eastern suburbs. And I'd always like wonder who lives in that mansion, who lives in that waterfront, <laughs> what's it like inside? Like I was just very passionate about, about property. Um, and I think two people think I talk a lot of shit, so probably <laughs> it was a good fit. I'll point out a few in the street because yeah. I bought a lot in the street. This is so. This is like your turf. This is Bellevue Hills, my turf. Uh, we bought this house on the left off market for eighteen point five million. So if we see another buyer's agent driving around, just hit him and keep driving. Yeah, I won't tell anyone. Great. If you spot any, let me know. I had to leave my Christmas party one one year to uh, go and exchange that property. Uh, the house up the driveway here, I woke up one morning at 4 a.m. I thought it could be perfect for my clients. Approached the owner, he was a seller. We bought it for nine million. They fixed it up and sold it for 18.5. Okay, um, why don't you tell me what you haven't bought? Um, keep driving, we'll find something. <laughs> What's the most expensive house you've ever bought? For a client. I actually can't say because of the confidentiality, but it was very expensive. Okay, so I'm thinking... As far as dollar value goes, but God, it was a killer deal. Okay, so if it's over 50 million, just stay quiet. Good, good. Okay, let's say Laura and I, we're thinking about buying a house. Yep. We need a bit of help. Mm -hmm. I give you a call. You've come to the right place. Okay, what's the minimum kind of budget you're looking at for a client? Oh, there's no minimum. I mean, in, in, we have offices all over. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth. Like, we do stuff for $400,000. You'd be sweet. That's, that's more my kind of budget. Mate, you want a caravan? I'll represent <laughs> yeah. you, you know? Just let me know. Okay, perfect. I'll have the office send over the paperwork. We're good to go. I'll get you the best fucking deal in a caravan you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. <laughs> all right, here we are. It's been a pleasure. Mate, honestly, if all else fails, you make a very good driver. I've got your number now. You do, and you know where to find me. Hey, good luck with season two. And maybe if there's a season three, we'll get your little cameo. Good to see you, buddy. See you, Simon. Bye.